Hi, my name is Belgica and I'm an actress in the San Francisco Bay Area and I make acting related videos every Monday and Thursday. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and subscribe right now. Today I wanted to talk about how talent agencies work because I have in the past heard friends or um, just actors that I've talked to say, oh, what's the point of getting an agent? I can get stuff on my own through like backstage casting, SF casting and stuff like that. But the thing is that they have a lot more connections, so I just wanted to talk about how the agencies actually work and how they get you jobs so that you guys can understand better that getting an agent is really, really important. Um, I know it can feel hard and intimidating. I have another video on how I got an agent and um, just that it wasn't as intimidated as I thought and maybe I got lucky um, because my agency maybe didn't have somebody that looked like me um, and that's why they accepted me or they just maybe liked me, but um, basically the stuff that gets put on SF casting and backstage casting, stuff like that online, is usually something not as big, right? So for my agency, um, they tell me that I can submit myself for anything on any site as long as it's $500 or less. And I'm currently with Marla Dell Talent in San Francisco, if you guys are curious. Um, and they, when they did the orientation, they're like, you go ahead and submit to as much as you want because it is a smaller market. So, you know, if you want to stay busy, if you want to build up your reel, whatever, they do allow you to just submit to the stuff yourself, $500 or less. So that's basically the rule for them. Um, and then to just be smart in general, you know, to not say yes to an exclusive contract that will, um, keep you from doing another commercial. So an exclusive contract means, um, for example, that maybe AT&T hires you and they're like, hey, you can't be in any other cell phone commercials um, for the next five years. It's exclusive for us that you will be in a um, cell phone commercial, you know? So you don't want to necessarily say yes to exclusive commercials unless it's a decent amount of money because you're, it's gonna keep you from, you know, auditioning and being in commercials of that kind. So, Okay, how agencies work. Once you get into um, an agency, you know, you auditioned for them, whatever, um, they signed you, they will be um, getting a bunch of breakdowns of different auditions. They're going to be getting uh, directly from a casting director maybe or just a production company. They're like, hey, we need five people for this Audible commercial and they need to look like this, this and that. We want them to be this height. We want them to be this ethnicity. We want them to be able to play this character, blah, blah, blah. Well, the agents know their talent. So they're kind of the filter. The talent agency is the filter so that the big um, productions don't have to go searching and searching, which is that why the bigger productions wouldn't just upload or put their casting uh, notice on backstage or stuff like that because they don't want to waste their time. So basically, they're paying for convenience, paying more money for convenience. So you know, pay a talent agency um, the twenty percent uh, of your fee or whatever in order to just make it easier for them to find. So basically the agency is like a really great filter in order to find talent and also the agency can negotiate your rate and just negotiate a current contract that you might have. So say um, again that it's a exclusive contract and they want to pay you $5,000 for five years and it's something really popular like um, some kind of software for a tech company for example here in the Bay Area and they think mm, $5,000 isn't that much, it's not really um, appropriate for this contract, then they can say, hey, you know, in the past we've done these contracts and this is what we what we know is best or whatever, they can negotiate more money for you. Or let's say they wanted to renew that contract for another five years and they're like, okay, this commercial got really popular, you know, it got on TV even and um, it got on, whatever it got really popular maybe it was on super bowl whatever that the agency can be like okay if you want to renew this contract it's obviously worth a lot more so they can renew it for more money so basically they can negotiate for you you can also negotiate for you but they have more experience i have another video again on negotiating pay um so yeah that's a, a little bit of a longer story it just really depends on how much experience you have how much um you know you you are really like worth as a, a performer as a the face to their product whatever it is um so yeah the talent agency can negotiate they can be the filter to make sure <clears throat> they find that talent night like nice and quick so it's just really convenient um and they also just have connections 
um, if they have worked with, let's say, 13 Reasons Why in the past, and, and the casting director for that was like, hey, last time we went to MDT, we got five people. They were great to work with. They were here on time. They just performed really well. So maybe they'll be like, hey, we really liked your talent last time. Go ahead and send us, you know, anybody you think will be right for this character. Um, so yeah, they're also really great because they'll have that connection ha that have they have had worked with this company in the past, where for you, for example, you can't really get an audition for a speaking role on your own for bigger shows because again, they're not going to want to look through all of these submissions on FSF casting, backstage casting, stuff like that, which is why in that kind of website, they do more of um, extra work, you know, because they're like, okay, we can just look at your picture and we're hiring like 300 people for that day and they just want to get through it. Um, and then after you have done your job, what your talent agency does is give you your check. So usually, when you get a job through your agency or always in my experience when i get a job through my agency they will pay the agency and sometimes the rate includes the 20 percent that my on-camera um talent agent is going to take and sometimes it doesn't it's really nice when they add the 20 percent, so they'll give you your rate let's say 1500 for the day plus 20 percent for your agent that's amazing um but it'll go through your agency and then the agency will send me a check directly um so that's pretty much it the agent will have more connections they will be able to vouch for you and also negotiate for you and then at the end they'll get you your paycheck um but i really really recommend you guys just google different agencies in your area ask other actors in your area and i think um also if you want to be an extra that's a great place to meet other actors and um while you're there meeting the other actors like a lot of people like me treat being an extra like a paycheck and like a way to meet other people because it's not really super fun in the acting arena because you don't really get to act but i i like that i can interact with other people ask them how they like their agency ask them if they have an agent in another place because i'm definitely looking for an agent in other markets uh, um, other than san francisco so it's just a great place to be able to learn more from each other um but that's pretty much it giving you the very basics of how a talent agency works you know as far as what the actor can um, see and experience um so that's the end of my video at the end of every video i feature another channel today it is candace uh if you would like to be featured on my next video go ahead and like subscribe and leave me a comment